Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are an experienced Word user, you will notice that the interface in Word 2013 is similar to the interface used in Word 2010. For new users of the program, as with any program, you should begin by familiarizing yourself with your working environment. You should start by learning the names and locations of the tools you will need to create Word documents. The first object to examine is the ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and commands available for your use within the Word program. Note that we will examine using this tool and other tools within the interface within separate lessons in this chapter. You will also need to familiarize yourself with the File tab that is located in the upper left corner of the ribbon. Clicking this tab within the ribbon opens the Backstage view of your document, which allows you to access the most common file functions, such as creating a new document, saving documents, and printing. Above that ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. This is the only toolbar available for use in Word 2013 through 2010. You will notice several important buttons are already set here. Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also easily remove buttons that you have added to this toolbar as well. At the top of the window, you will see the name of the current document that you have open. This will appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. Below all of the tools, the current document is displayed. This is where you create the actual content of the document. Most of the actual work in Word will be done in this document window. At the right side of the document, you will see a vertical scroll bar. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your document if your document is wide or if you zoom in on the document. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your document. You can use the horizontal scroll bar, if shown, to scroll left and right across the document. Speaking of zooming the document, you can easily use the zoom in to increase the document's magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Also, to the left of that, you can see the various document view buttons that allow you to switch the view of your document as needed. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default, and what they are called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the Word application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.